really liberating to understand what's going on. I would certainly rather know than not know. Once you find out about the chemtrail spraying, you can't unlearn it. And I couldn't, I couldn't live in a world where I know this is going on and do nothing about it because as far as I'm concerned, I'm just as guilty as the guy releasing that nozzle from that jet. So I feel it's my responsibility to the earth and to everything and everyone on it to try and, and help the situation. We are a collective, we're a team and we, we've got to fix this. The media is owned by six corporations. I mean, we're being told what to believe. We have to be able to develop our own critical thinking abilities so we can see past uh, the lies. Living in a big city, I became very conductive with the metals in my body, which are extremely difficult to excrete. So moving to a more rural area, the electromagnetics aren't as severe, but when they're spraying, they still affect me neurologically, so it's very difficult. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune illness, so um, it, was, it was never really specific. So I knew I had heavy metal poisoning, so I, I um, got some tests and I have the perfect chemtrail footprint, really. I have the barium, the aluminum, the strontium, the manganese. In terms of the allopathic root of medicine, Allopathic root, mainstream medical use of pharmacological active agents to treat or suppress symptoms. Wikipedia. I did investigate that for a number of years. It did not work. It did not ameliorate any kind of symptomology I was experiencing. So it's, a, it's truly a broken paradigm that simply makes money for big corporate, big agri, big pharma. So. Um, I proceeded to do a lot of investigation on my own and came up with just a lot of different mo modalities. It's, it's a rather hit and miss thing in terms of your own health. It's been an interesting journey, you know, regaining health. The doctors that are more cognizant of the aerosol spraying are in the naturopathy, homeopathy area. In terms of, of removing the fluoride, it's an easy waste receptacle for us. So, I mean, it's from the phosphate fertilizer industry. We know that it's HFSA, it's a bait and switch, it's not sodium fluoride. So uh, we know we're, we're ingesting poison and they don't want to dispose of it responsibly, so they're giving it to us. And, um, and yes, they do want to dumb us down. It, it, it zombifies, it makes us passive and, and complicit for their agenda. There's a real deluge of, of Alzheimer's and dementia, and autism and ADHD as well. These kind of neurological illnesses are rampant and people really need to wake up and start questioning what's going on here. You also have to look at the fluoride in the water. So the fluoride combined with the aluminum penetrates the blood-brain barrier. So it's attacking your, your brain, your central nervous system. And it's just a given if um, you're getting sprayed with those chemtrails and you're drinking fluoridated water, you're going to get sick. Every living organism is affected and damaged by chemtrails. The biggest thing in terms of a chemtrail protection is detox. That is absolutely a non-negotiable. So I would start off eating clean. You get rid of all your processed foods. Eat organic as much as possible. Lots of green juices to flush out your system. Um, that's primary because food is our medicine. Um, and although it's been compromised, it's, you know, we've, we've got to take what we can get at this stage. Vitamin scorbutate, that's excellent, great detox, vitamin C. Also MSM, that is organic sulfur, very important, great, great detox, it oxygenates the blood. Also buffered vitamin C, you can get to a naturopath or a homeopath, those are, those are excellent things to try and look at. IV chelation, vitamin IVs, very good. Bentonite clay foot baths, Epsom salts baths, um, lots of good herbs to take. There is garlic, there's turmeric, there's cilantro, chlorella, 
and uh, good digestive enzymes if your digestive system has been compromised at all. It's just a continual detox every single day. Everybody's sprayed at different velocities and different intensities, so it's just a continual, continual management of your body to get rid of this stuff. My vitamin D intake is 4,000 IU a day. We are getting 22% less sunlight and we're getting 16% less oxygen, so we're all being very affected. Walking, yoga, meditation, it's, it's a real mind, body, spirit thing in terms of, of this situation because you really got to keep your head on straight when, once you realize what's happening. The chemtrail movement in Canada, very assertive. They're really uh, acting, acting wonderfully in terms of, of creating awareness. There's a lot of troubles going on that right now to distract us from this situation. So there's, there's, a, there's certainly an agenda behind that as well. Everything is contaminated. The, the teas we drink, the beauty products, perfumes, shampoos. We're looking at things with carcinogens um, monumentally. Everything you should try and do sulfate-free, um, organic again if possible. Um, Castile soaps, uh, a fluoride-free, sulfate-free toothpaste, or even use baking soda uh, to brush your teeth natural essential oils instead of uh, fragrances. Cosmetics keep to a minimum and if you do organic, um, a lot of lead in, in, in those products. Topicals you have to be careful of. Uh, lotions, lotions, um, body creams, sunscreen, sunscreen is another one. Be very uh, watchful of sunscreen. Coconut oil is very good in terms of a sunscreen. You don't need sunscreen. We need the sunlight. We need photosynthesis. We need vitamin D. We don't need to uh, protect ourselves from the sun as much as, as we are told. I think it was really heartrending that a, a five-year-old girl educated me, Suzanne, as an adult, that something is going on in our skies. But there are some pretty uh, wonderful activists out there that are children that are doing wonderful things. And I can you can look to Rachel Parent, um, who's who's really pivotal in the GMO movement in Toronto. There's lots of kids you see out there. There's some, some really great YouTube videos with kids talking about chemtrails. We are under attack. That's why we made this. Our government has been spraying us like bugs using aluminum, barium, strontium and other aerosols in order to control the climate. There are many reasons why this would be so, including weather control and for military supremacy. Think, Think about, about it. it. What is really scary, though, is how slow adults are waking up to the fact that we are being poisoned by the powers that be. The parents that are aware of this, that are educating their children, it's a real domino effect there, which is great. In terms of indoctrination for children, it's very obvious that they are being conditioned to accept the spring. It's in many cartoons. It's in movies. It's in commercials. There shouldn't be Wi-Fi with children, little, small little children with developing immune systems. It's very, very irresponsible. I wanted to find an educational tool uh, wherein um, parents could uh, educate their children on chemtrails. It's, it, because it's an extremely sensitive subject and a, a tough thing to talk to with kids, I found this one and it's called Mom, What's a Chemtrail by um, Greg Willis. So it's a, it's a nice little illustrative book. It just has pictures and and a dialogue, a conversation with a mother and a son. So I liked it and I presented at the uh, market. This is a Swiss uh, Perfect 16 IQ Air system. It traps up to 0 0.003 microns of molds, fungi, bacteria. This is medical grade filtration system. This is what pretty much everybody needs, um, and, and the, the respiratory illness has just gone through the roof, so people really need to protect themselves. This is necessary because of the chemtrailing. Since most people are unaware of chemtrailing, they, don't, they can't, cannot correlate poisons to if they have asthma or respiratory illnesses, so it's a catch-22.
My smart meter, actually, I have a protective mechanism on it that, that refracts the uh, electromagnetics back outside. The uh, smart meter is um, covered in an encasement, so it's helpful. We are starting a campaign in the uh, Toronto Transit subway on the one of the main lines, the Young Street line, November 17th. It's going to have 120 transit cards right up above where people sit. We're also going to be advertising in tandem with Now Magazine. Now Magazine will be in for four weeks as of the billboard, a four week stint. What I would like to see in the future um, is a top-down removal of government systems because clearly um, they are all culpable, they're all complicit, they're all involved. And not just the government, there's the military involved, there are universities involved. This, this is um, all very interrelated. So I would like to see the spraying stopped and the people responsible punished. What I would like to see is a top-down removal of government systems because clearly um, they are all culpable, they're all complicit. The military, there are universities involved. This, this is um, all very interrelated. So I would like to see the spraying stopped and the people responsible punished. Mm -hmm.